NVIDIA has never been a timid company, and at CES 2013, the chipmaker stepped on the gas. NVIDIA's aggressive plans for NVIDIA Shield, its first NVIDIA-branded gaming device, set a course for placing the company in the limelight this coming year. The Android-based Shield is NVIDIA's first attempt at selling a device bearing the NVIDIA name. It strongly resembles a console controller, complete with joysticks and buttons. It can play Android, Tegra, and PC games, as well as play games streamed from the cloud. Still a prototype, Shield's name and final form could change before it hits store shelves. And that, said an NVIDIA representative, could happen in a couple months. NVIDIA is targeting a quarter two launch, according to NVIDIA spokesperson. As NVIDIA CEO Jen Husun Huang puts it, Shield is the culmination of NVIDIA's work in processor architecture and cloud gaming over the last five years. With Shield, Huang says, you can play any device in any place on any screen in an untethered way. While Shield could open up a new stream of revenue and brand recognition, it's niche enough that success is no guarantee. Portable gaming devices are many, and NVIDIA, a component maker, doesn't traditionally dabble in device making. However, it isn't entirely unaccustomed to piecing together hardware. In fact, it works with component providers to assemble reference designs that are then shopped around to NVIDIA's usual hardware partners. I, for one, would be glad to see NVIDIA Shield succeed. It would be an ex exciting to see a new company dabbling in the world of gaming, which has recently been dominated by Microsoft, Nintendo, and Sony. If Shield were to take off, it could ho open a whole new chapter in the history of portable video gaming. Thanks for watching CTN videos. This video is one of many special CES related announcements, so stay tuned by subscribing. For more on CES, please check out CTN's website at ctntechnews.com.